Greetings, everybody. If you've ever had a problem finding out what you really want out of life and you don't know what your priorities are, this is what I call the 10 for 10 method for finding out your overall priority goals in life. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to show you an example of how it works. It's very easy, but it's going to help you out tremendously. Trust me. So here we go now. Here we go now, folks. Hey, my name is Steven. I do this channel because I think practical stuff that works around the law of attraction is a lot better than some of the stuff out there that I don't know about because it just seems a little bit wild, if you know what I mean. So if you like this video, you like these kinds of videos, I want you to go ahead and I want you guys to click on the subscribe button, hit the bell button so YouTube knows that I'm out there doing videos that people like and I can help others too. So by the way, if you comment, all right, if you subscribe, you leave me a comment, say that you subscribed, and then I will comment back. I always answer all my comments, every single one of them. The 10 by 10 method for finding out what you really want in life is so simple. I'm going to show you how it works right now. I used this years and years ago to figure out what my goals should be, and sometimes it's hard to know what your goals are. For one day, you think you want this, and the other day, that doesn't seem like a priority. So there are going to be bigger overall goals that you want. You need to figure out what they are. So here's how this works. Very, very easy. The first thing you need is a book. I use a book with graph paper in it because I like to be able to write down uh, bullet points on a list and I just, I don't know, I'm a very like, a, I don't know, engineering type of guy, A, B, C, D, very analytical. Okay, so you also need a pen, obviously. You need 10 minutes a day and I highly suggest you do this in the morning before every person and responsibility you have is biting at your heels because you need to have time for yourself. It's a very good thing to do this in the morning. And you also need uh, to just have a quiet place to work. The way it works is very simple. There is one little trick that will mess you up and I need you to pay attention. So what you're going to do for 10 minutes, for 10 days, you're going to write 10 different things. The 10 for 10 method, correct? Okay. What you're going to do on the first day, you're going to sit down and you're going to write out what you think is important and what you want out of life. And it can be anything. It can be a material thing, a spiritual thing, a personal relationship type thing. I don't you know, a, a professional thing. doesn't matter what it is. I care what it is, but I don't care what it is, if you understand where I'm coming from. But what do you think are the most important things to you? Come up with 10 of them and write them in the present tense. For example, I will give you an example of one of my overall goals. In the present tense, as though it's happened already, I live in a 4,000 square foot home in the southern Philippines with my wife overlooking the ocean side. Very, very, very specific. I don't want to say the place, although I have the place in my head uh, where I want to write it out. There's a physical geographical location too. If you want a car, you can't say I want a new car. You have to say I drive a 2018 Ford Mustang. And that's what you have to do. You have to write very specifically what it is. I was just looking to see an idea of a car. There's a Mustang back there. Mustang GT. You have to write them out very specifically in the present tense. Close your book after 10 minutes when you have 10 of them written and that's it. And then tomorrow you're going to come back to the book. Now here's the important part. Let's pretend that this isn't a page. I don't want to show you what I've previously written and that this is page one. If this is page one and we wrote goals on this page, what we don't want to do the next day is come back and write on the back of the page. Yes, you're going to be wasting some paper. The reason why is on day three, we can't look at any of the previous days, any of the days. So on day one, you're done day two, you don't look at day one. And on day two, without looking at day one, you write out the 10 things that are important to you. You see how this goes is that on day two, you might not remember what you wrote down on day one, but the important things that you remembered on that you wrote down on day one, they're going to come out on day two. And day three is going to be just the same. You don't look at day one or day two, but on day three, you write down what's important to you and what you really want in life in the present tense. And then on day four and on day five and so on and so forth. So you're going to be wasting a, a page. That's fine. You can always reuse these pages later on and uh, you can always come back and write a journal over here if you wanted to but make sure that you're not looking at the previous day and something magical happens towards the eighth ninth and tenth day your list looks really similar yeah your list starts to look just like the previous day's list because by those days you have consciously brought up the things that are most important to you running in the back of your head and prioritize them so you're writing them down every single day meaning that you now know what really matters to you is that you do drive a brand new car or what does really matter is that you get a college fund going for you know the kid that you have on the way if those are the most important things to you 
those come right up on that list and you see them by the eighth, ninth, and 10th day over and over. Now you have a list that you can prioritize. Now you can take those 10 things and you can put them in A, B, and C goals. And I'll do that in another video another day. So you'd better subscribe to the channel. Click on the subscribe button. Click the little bell if you subscribe. Tell me in the comments that you did and I will be glad to reply to you. And also click on the link in the description of this video. It takes you to a product review for something that I, I did this program. It was a cool program, worked well for me. Plus there's a bunch of free articles on my website that you may enjoy reading. Let me know what you think of my 10 for 10 for 10 method. 10 for 10 for 10, 10 minutes, 10 items for 10 days. Guys, I appreciate you watching. I'm forever grateful. Yikes, I'm over five minutes. That's not normal. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.